Hey folks, if I could have your attention real quick. Um, I just want to talk about a couple things before we start our cleanup here at the State Park. Can anybody tell me what State Park we're at? Okay, we're at North Point State Park. North Point State Park is in Baltimore County. It's in the city of Edgemere. So, what? can anybody tell me what body of water this is out here? Chesapeake Bay. Chesapeake Bay, okay? And I heard somebody say that they weren't going to go in the water because it looked dirty. Why, why, do you, why do you guys think it would look dirty? Okay. It looks like it, but it's not. Pollution. What, what kind of issues affect the Chesapeake Bay? Why isn't this thing crystal clear? Okay. Trash? Pest? Hey. You've been paying attention to Mr. Don's class, huh? Okay, I like that. So Seth is bringing up trash, pollution, chemicals. What can we do about that? Clean up. Okay. We can clean it up. Okay, that's that's Did something. Stop putting in there? Okay, so I'm hearing clean it up, get people to stop putting chemicals in the water, um, clean it up, and talking to people. Right, those are what are called direct actions. Those are things that you and I directly can do. We can wake up in the morning and decide, hey, we want to make the Chesapeake Bay better, and we can go out and we can start picking up trash. And we could talk to people about some of the issues that are affecting the Chesapeake Bay. Again, those are called direct actions. What I want you guys to think about today as we are helping to clean up some of the actual litter out of the Chesapeake Bay, I want you guys to think about what we could do as a group to maybe make the Chesapeake Bay a little bit better. I want you guys to think about what we could do maybe as a government. What we were talking about, folks, we were talking about direct action. Okay, direct action is where you or I can wake up in the morning, you and I can wake up and we can decide that today is the day that we are going to take action ourselves to clean up the bay. What I'd like you guys to do is while we are picking up trash in the bay, I want you guys to think about what we could do to affect change within our government. Okay, because the government works for us, right? We are part of them, right? Okay, so I want you guys to think about what the government could do or what we could propose that could make change at that level, okay, at a group or a government community level, okay? We're already looking at what we can do on the personal level. We're looking at what we can do to take action on the big level. Who are we working with today, Ramon? And I got something to say. I got something to say. Go ahead. Government isn't going to say, come to us and say, oh, we're going to help. You know, we got to go to them and prove, show to them that we need help. They're not going to, we got to do it ourselves. They ain't going to do it for us. We're going to go to it ourselves. I love it. Okay? That's, that's what I need you guys thinking about as we are going around and we are picking up trash. I want you guys to think about the types of trash we're seeing, what the government could possibly do, maybe possible legislation that they could look at, laws that might but more laws. I want you to tell me when we come back as a group, I want you to tell me what kind of laws they can put together. Cool. All right. Everybody clear on what we're doing? Excellent. Aluminum. Okay. So we're finding a diff different uh, types of trash here, right? Okay. Where do you think this trash comes from? Where at? Here? Right here on the water? No, everything washes up from the bay. Everything washes up? Yeah, that's why we're that close to the bay. Okay. So is this just um, like a Chesapeake Bay problem or a Baltimore City problem or Baltimore County? It's Baltimore in general. It's Baltimore in general, but does this affect anybody else other than just Baltimore? Yeah, look, there's a dead animal right there. Yep. What is it? Well, the dead animal is probably supposed to be here because it looks like catfish. You see this? Yeah. So that looks like it's supposed to be here. That's okay to be here, because that'll rot and that'll actually help the environment. Here's another dead fish. That's okay. Wow. Does that belong here on my beautiful Chesapeake Bay? No, it does not. Where did that come from? Okay. Maybe somebody came out here at the beach. Could it have started on land somewhere? Okay. So you're thinking that it was somebody who directly came out? That's certainly possible. Wow, so what do we got there, Seth? A bottle of snake skin. That's awesome. 
Which which part of that is naturally belonging here on my beautiful Chesapeake Bay? The snakeskin. Okay. So which one does not belong? The bottle. Outstanding. That, I believe, is a northern water snake. Is it deadly? No, it's not. Okay, so um, hey guys, check this out. Right. Just to um, just to kind of close out the activity that we had there, just talking for a couple minutes about um, what happened. What what did we just do? Clean up. We cleaned up. Okay. Um, did you guys find anything really out of the ordinary? Steel. Band aid. Steel band aid. Snake. Wires. 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 Underwear. Wires. Snake, snake. snake. Let's go, those t-shirts. Okay, hampers, white. Okay, plastic. all right, all right, perfect. Plastic. Perfect. So you guys found, I did hear a lot of plastic. I also heard a snake, right? Now, snakes, snakes are supposed to be here, right? So that's that's a normal thing, old t-shirt, okay? So snake is supposed to be here. Somebody said a dead fish, right? Dead fish are supposed to be here, right? It's all two, okay? So there were a lot of things that weren't supposed to be here. And we took direct action ourselves to take some of that out of the environment, right? Right. Now, I asked you guys at the beginning to think about maybe things that the government could do to help us out as people. What do you think the government could do maybe to make this a little bit cleaner of a place? Hold on just a second, Ivan. I want to get Ravel to turn his hand up. Yes, sir. Go ahead. Take the government. Not, uh, and these people that are making these, like, whoever making these stuff to put in this ocean that's polluted, why are these dudes, they do need to conserve on that, they need to know where, where, they need to know where. Yes, sir. I got something. The companies don't have nothing to do with it. It's like if they sell it and then they got responsible people that just throw it in the ocean. Okay, so let me ask you this. Can governments do anything about this? No. 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 Okay, yeah. I heard yeah. What what's up, Terry? Uh, stricter laws against littering. Stricter laws against littering. Okay, do you guys think that, that would help? That would help. Yeah. 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 They tell people it's a federal charge for a bottle on the ground. They're gonna charge. 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 Maybe make a more stricter law. I'm hearing the counterpoint that, that stricter laws don't work. Okay. More, more police. More regulation on these people. More regulation. Okay. What what products would we offer regulation on? Plastics in there. Glass. Okay. How about more recycling? More yeah. recycling. Okay. We need to have more recycling. Okay. How about um, more access to recycling? Yes. Yeah, more yeah. access. Okay. Do you guys have access in your neighborhoods to recycling? No. no. We no. Recycle. I got recycling coming through every Wednesday. Okay. So, yeah. do you think it would help if they had recycling poisoning? Yeah. yeah. Okay. They need to get more incentives on recycling because people just think we got to recycle, recycle. They need to have more incentives on recycling. You know what would be cool? Do we get paid for recycling? Yeah, okay. they can get a lot of people would be doing it. Okay. So like in New York they do that. They do that. Alright, so these these are pretty good ideas, guys. So we have, you know, maybe stricter, maybe stricter regulations, maybe not. Maybe some more regulations on the companies so that they have some responsibility. Maybe um, you know, an incentive for people to recycle. Maybe a rebate or um, turn in a bottle and get get some money back type of thing. There are some states that do that. So I want you guys to think, okay, we're going to revisit this again at school. Okay, once we've got time to, to think a little bit more about the question. School may be restricted a little bit. Okay, all right. I would tell them. That's a possibility. Okay, guys, stay, stay with me for a little bit longer. I just want to kind of close this out, okay? So we saw here what we can do as individuals, right? We saw what individuals can do as a group. 
Okay, now we have those bags of trash over there. Those are bags of trash that we know are out of the bag, right? Yep. So we need to think, these are things that we can do directly as individuals. What I want you guys to think of and move forward with is how we can influence other people's decision making so that we all have this bay to work with. Sound good? Yeah. All right, guys, thank you for your time. Let's enjoy the beach party.